and many more. Now we have discussed the introduction. We define what CCTV is. It's not so. We define CCTV. Importance of CCTV. So, majorly, security of lives and properties. Then, application. Hotels, eateries, homes, schools, and so on and so forth. Right? Then we discuss tools. And we well we'll talk about hand tools. Eh? We talk about bench tools. We discuss marking tools. We discuss uh, measuring tools. We discuss machine and equipment. The components of CCTV. We still come back to this. Uh, components and the uh, accessories. We will still pick them one by one and discuss them in detail. Then we will put connections. Mm? So, when we discuss about components, we talked about CCTV cameras, media, which is the digital video recorder. Then, yeah, monitor, power supply, right? Mm -hmm. Then, accessories, I told us about cables. Then, connectors, hard disk drive, modem, we have a wire, and what? Wireless. Then, I want us to discuss this, it's very important. Huh? We will discuss this one. Then, if we finish this, we will go back to components and pick them one by one. We will break them down in details. After that, we do presentation. Eh? If you know our class, we will sit up practical theory. I show us. Eh? That's how I teach. I show you what you are supposed to know. Right? So, put this thing down. I will clean it up and down. So that we will have space. Eh? So, one want to bring two people that came with some other persons. They really saw the difference between classwork and side work. Hmm? So, we are discussing planning and what? Selection of material. This is very, very important. Planning and selection. And selection of materials. Now, whatever you do, or whichever work you do, is very, very, very important to do what? To plan. When your client tells you that he needs a camera installed in his vicinity, maybe his shop or his office, the first thing that comes to mind is how long do you want this camera to work? Is not so. Then, where and where do you want to cover? Eh? and so on and so forth. This understanding will guide you on the type of materials you will use and what it will cost you. Right? So planning is very, very important. Again, is it a new house? Is it a new office? Or has it been in use before now? For instance, if we are installing camera in this hall, this hall has been in use, it's not so. What type of cabling do we deploy? Eh? If it is a new house and they, they, they need conduit wire in that house, are you going to run your cable on the surface? No, you will dent the aesthetics or the beauty of the house. So you need to do what? Key in. Let's assume it's a new building, it's a hotel. 
and the building is ongoing and they call you please come and give me the estimate i want to install camera in this hotel i need your service if you don't understand the plan you are marking you are fighting for conditions then dropping if it's a house that is already in existence if you don't understand the cabling, you will not succeed. Yeah? So, the first thing you do, once maybe you receive the call, like I thought us, yes, somebody, uh, somebody has started applying what I thought us. Alpha. Who is Alpha? You are the Alpha, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's very good. So you create a group or a page to market your, your business. You start telling people, I do CCTV installation, I do solar system installation. Yeah? Then you, your brand or your company gains visibility. People will know you. People you don't know are people that know you. Yeah? So once they see it and they are able to relate it with you, they say, yes, this is a person I can do business with. Yeah. Now, you start receiving calls from people you don't know. You receive calls from people you know. After the discussion, the next thing is, you pay, number one, you visit the site. Yeah. This part of planning. You have, the man has decided that you are going to review the work. What then do you do? You visit the site and carry out sightseeing. Hmm? Or you go for sightseeing. Or appraiser. You go there and see things for yourself. This is a house. This is a model of a house. Right? This is a front. Are you? Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Now, who can tell me the concept of this house? You know what is concept? The shape. Is it the shape of gun, or L shape, or V shape, or U shape, or is it shape, shapeless? Is it F? Eh? This is the sit up. Eh? This is the main building. Can you see this side? Eh? It looks like L. But it has a, it has a, a cap here. Eh? This is how the building looks like. If I can draw it, if I can still draw This is the front. Yeah? It comes like this. It goes 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 like this. The house has a concept of L 
shape. If it has a square or rectangular shape, if it is a rectangular shape, I will target the four cardinal points. One, this one will face like this, right? Two, this one will face like this, right? Three, this one will face like this. Four. This has captured the four cardinal points of the house. There is no direction that somebody is coming in from that. These cameras will not capture. That's if the house is a square of L shape. Yeah? Now, if it is in this form, how many cameras do we have? We put one here to capture everything going on here. Yeah? Depending on the shape of, on the uh, length of this, it may reach here, it may not reach. Yeah? I will have another one here. I will have another one here. Then I have the last one here. Now in this case, look at this one. I will ask myself, if I install a camera here, will you see everything going on here? Or do I leave this place to be what we call blind spots? Blind spots is the area where security cameras cannot capture. Eh? Either you left it like that deliberately or as a result of I don't know what to do again. Yeah? So look at the house. I'm talking about this space. If I put camera here, will you see all these places? Yes. Yeah? Yes. From the shape of this house, you see. So put one here. You are doing your marking. Right? You know we keep time. Yeah? So we already have one here. This is what we are talking about, right? Then, this one will not reach here. The back of the building. So what do we do? This is the back, right? It has something like the uh, then we need another camera here to do what? Capture this side or this side. We want camera to capture it. No. To have blind spots. Yes. Eh? Yes. If you come close to the building, the camera will not see you. You come close. Because of this pillar or block wall. Right? Yeah. So we can decide to push you. If this place is a flashpoint or it's too important for us, if not, we leave it like that. Yeah. Then we have another side here. It's very short. Mm -hmm. So where do I position the camera? Is it here or here? For this short distance. Yeah. Yeah? Here. Here, right? Yes. Here is better, right? Yes. Yeah. In position this here. What it means is that this camera and this camera will be what? Overlapping. Yeah? Can you see it? Yeah. Now we have a problem here. There's no camera here. That means our direction. You see that I'm alternating them. Yeah? To give me maximum coverage. Now we are left with the front and this side. That's no camera. Yeah? This one covers from here to here. We are left with this side. Yeah? This small space. Let's. Yes. Abi? Nah. We are left with here. Mm -hmm. 
we just call her here. We are left with here now. This place and this place. Right? So how do we position the camera now? Eh? How many do we need here? One or two? Two. Eh? Here. We have from here to here. We are left with two. Yeah. We have a blind spot here. Yeah. Eh? Can yeah, you see? Yeah. So the option we have is either we place camera on this pillar to capture this side and place to capture this side, then the front, nothing will be. Yeah? So if we do it like this, this is where the pillar is. And we position so that we can capture here. We position so that we can capture here. The front is left open. That one is what the indoor, the one we put in the entrance, we do what? We take care of. Eh? So from the concept of this house, how many cameras do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? If we like, we put blind spots somewhere. If you put blind spot there, if, if there is any blind spot around, it makes that place for us. Somebody that is a criminal and understands the security architecture can break in at any point in time. Eh? Now, alternatively, instead of using this, we have six cameras. You can use the fence. Yeah? We position one camera here to do what? To pick all this front. Position another one here to pick this side. Position another one here to pick this side. Position this one. Because of this video, it's so okay, yes, to pick this side. That's how many four. If we like, we still add one. Make it five. Yeah? The one that we pick the gates, right? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah? We are marking or positioning. Our cameras, right? Yeah. Then after that, we decide. Are we doing Parking. Yeah, good one. Is it there? Now, if it's a new building, like the one we are doing, right? We do what? We do piping, conduit, so that the cables will be buried inside. Yeah? Now, if you don't know how to do piping, we employ the service of an electrician. Have you? Yeah. But if you visit site once or twice, you will do what? You understand it. That one you saw is it difficult? <laughs> it's not difficult. So once you visit site once or twice, you become used to it. Right? So you do what we call packing, right? Or uh, trunking. If it is an existing building with trunk, what is trunk? That white pipe you see in banks. Eh? I don't have one here, I would have shown us. Eh? If we use this pipe and we hold it to the wall, And we, and we nail it to the wall. Like you see. Just bring one or two. 
So, if we are using this, what do we do? This is also a type of problem. Huh? We nail this to the wall and do what? We nail it to the wall for a minute. Let's assume I want to throw from here down to the position of our video. I will get this, lose this, lose the saddle. This is called saddle, saddle clip. Yeah. I will lose the saddle. This is the saddle. My pumpkin back, right? Yeah. Then I will nail this to the wall. Yeah. I will nail it. I will nail all of them. You see the reasonable distance. Eh? It can be one, one meter. It can be less than that. After nailing this, I put my pipe and screw eh? so that this saddle will go in this way. This saddle is not meant for this size of pipe. This is 25 mm square. We are supposed to use 20. Uh, so, bring that to us. Let me just put this first together. So, this is how it will look like. This one, this one. It will look like this after screwing into the wall. Okay. So, this is how it will look like, right? Yeah. This is a type of drum. There is a uh, square one, that white one. Yeah. So, your pipe or your drum, if it's an old building that provision has not been made for Canada before, you do what you drum. If it's somewhere that has selling, like in this case, what did we do? We pass our pipe through uh, uh, our cable. Through the slaves. Yeah? Though it's risky, rats can go and eat up the cable and start tracing ports. They can even damage the camera. If the camera is on and the bridge the cables can be to damage. So now after piping, you do what? Cable. What is cabling? Simply, simply drawing with your wire. Yeah? Cabling, you cable. Drawing in your wire or your cable. What is the difference between wire and cable? A cable is a piece of conductor that has its name. Hmm? A piece of conductor that has insulation is called cable. If it does not have insulation, it's not cable. Yeah? It's wire. If it does not have insulation, we call it wire. Every cable has wire inside it. Yeah? Is it difficult? So you say piece of conductor. A piece of conductor that has insulation. This is the insulation. Hmm? That's what we call cable. There is nothing like cable wire. <laughs> that is pathology. Yeah? So therefore, pathology is either so or therefore. So you do your cable. Now there is a material we use to draw your cable. Uh, we call it fishing tape. If you are familiar with the electrical installation, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, now, in the process of cabling, in the process of trunking, at every point where I will terminate this cable, I will terminate this uh, pipe, 
I use what we call patrice box. Uh, this is patrice. Let me see if there should be another one. You fasten this to the wall, open up a hole, and this pipe will do what? Go in. So that when you want to draw cable, your fishing tape goes into this and it comes out at the other end. Then you attach your, your cable to the fishing tape and do what? Draw. Yeah. If it's the other trunk, the white one, all you need to do is you lay your treasure and do what? Close it up. Yeah. So, I am teaching us this with assumption that we know what is from it. If not, I should have dropped everything so that we see it. Now, that is what you ought to do during your planning. Depending on the size of the installation, we have different sizes of boxes. This one is 3 by 3. 3 by 3, not a uh, patress. This is patress. It is the iron one. It's called knockout. 3 by 3. 3 mm -hmm. by 3. Is it 3 mm? It's not 3 mm. It should be 3 inches. Let me see. Eh? Yeah? It's not 3 mm. It's 3 inches. Yes. 3 inches by 3 inches. 3 by 3 inches. Eh? Yeah? We have 4 inches by 4 inches. This is the same of 1 inch. Double apostrophe. Yeah. So that's it for piping. I said after piping, do what? Tell me. So those of us that uh, this is the size. You understand this one very well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, during your piping, we have a camera here, right? This camera, the pipe should go straight to where our DVR is. Eh? If we have a, another camera there, it will go straight to this point. If we have another one here, it will come straight to this point. If we have another one here, it will come straight. That's if it's four cameras, how many are we supposed to have? Four pipes. Now, instead of running those individual pipes, we do what we call bunching. Bunching of cable. Eh? For instance, let me use this as an example. These two. There is one camera here. Eh? There is another camera here. And both of them will come to this point. Right? I can use that one pipe. I run from this point, break it up here with a box, then continue on from here to this point. During the process of drawing the cable, I will first of all bring in this one. I'll fish from here, then I'll draw in this one. As it gets to this point, I will add this one to it, then I'll bring two of them here. So from this point, to this place, we we'll have two cables. Yeah? From here to here, we have one. So, this place now, we we'll say that we bunch the two cables. Right? So, I think that is it for. Now, let me still explain. I talked about planning. Yeah? What about selection? This thing will tell me the type of camera I need to install. 
These ones are outdoors. We do not consider the number of wings we have. Did we? Now, where and where do we need cameras? In rooms. Do I need camera in master's room? Mm -hmm. Do I need camera in master's room? Yes. Why? You need privacy in the masters. What about maids room? Maid? No. You need privacy because your maid should be a grown up. What about children's room? Yes. Yes. Until they grow up. Do I live in the kitchen? Yes. Kitchen. Do I live in the toilet? No. <laughs> children's room. Where else do I need? Uh, of course. Sitting room. Step. Ante room. Uh, corridor. Ante room. Ante room. What is ante room? The room before before parlor. Uh, that small entrance. You come in and wait. Before they admit you to the main father, that's an interior. Yeah? Where else do we need camera? Corridor or lobby? No, lobby is the one outside. Yes, lobby. Where else do we need staircase? And so on and so forth. Now we are doing planning and selection. All these things should be considered. Let's assume this big house. It has nothing. Around up to three or four. Eh? It still has ante room. Eh? It has staircase. Up and down, right? Yeah. Then, does it have two bedrooms? Yeah. Yes. Does it have kitchen? Yeah. Yes. Does it have steel room? Yeah. Yes. So staircase, this one is step. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Which type of camera are we supposed to use? Indoor. Yeah? Indoor, you like what? Six. Then outdoor. How many outdoor do we have? Six. Remember that this compound has gates. We want to put camera at the gate so that we can see somebody that's coming to me. If the answer is yes, then we put gates. One. Which is how many cameras? Six plus six, two plus one. Yes. We have a total of 13 cameras. And? Right? The fence around like this. And this camera will be positioned here and it face like this. We see everything happening at the fence. This one is facing like this, we see everything. This one facing like this, we see. So, if what you are targeting, or if you are sure that the security risk you will have comes from outside, you position the camera in such a way that if you pick majority of the fence or major part of the fence, if what you want is uh, this one is preventive measure. We have curative measure. Now that person has jumped in. Immediately he enters our compound. The camera starts what? Detecting the person. Yeah? Understand? You can see. So as we position these cameras, it captures part of the fence. Eh? It's expected that this one here will not only view this place but will view some part of the fence. This one here will view some part of the fence. This one will view some part of the fence. That's how it works. So now we have succeeded in <laughs> summarizing how many cameras we need. We have discussed what we do during the planning and selection. Then how many cameras as part of the selection, eh?
still under selection. Eh? We have identified the types of candle that we need as what? Indoor and what? Outdoor. That's the type of candle that we need. Now, the next thing is do we need a wireless camera or wire? Is it wire is still under the type? Wire or wireless? 